Hello everyone! Hi guys! And welcome to another sunny episode of Massey Art Studios! <laughs> um, thank you for joining us, thank you for being here and welcome to a premiere if you're watching it that way. We love to chat to you all in the comments, mm. so it's always really fun. Yeah, that's always awesome. We've got another episode using a colour palette that Jeremy picked a little while ago. <laughs> so we poured these wonderful pours. Mm did some different episodes and I really wanted to go back to those colours again that you picked because they mm. were fantastic. Mm -hmm. And then I know that there was a technique that you wanted to try again using yes. those colours. Yes. Which was what? The Wrecked Ring. I know. <laughs> he does such fabulous ones. And I'm sure today is going to be no exception. I'm really interested to see these in a Wrecked Ring. Yeah, yeah. me too. Um, because I, there's so many beautiful colours there, it's going to be yeah. really interesting to see how it all pans out. I'm going to use my little pinky, the hairdryer, but I'm not going to do the composition that you've probably seen me do nine times mm. out of ten, which was that line. I'm going to try and do that sunbursty kind of effect that I know you've probably all seen Molly do, and we saw Mina do with her gardener's paw with a huge big kind of um, air blower. So I'm going to try and do something a little bit along those kind of lines. Um, that's my plan. I can't wait to see that. I am a little I'm excited. Very interested. And a little that. nervous. <laughs> but we'll, we'll see. Um, so, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. We would love you to do so. It's awesome. I'm excited to do this. Let's get started. Yeah, let's get to the table. We really want to get pouring. We'll see you there. All right, guys, here we are. I have my colors ready. I got my canvas ready. It is taped and it is pinned and it is disco ready to go. Um, what size and, is it, sir? Oh, it is a 20 by 20 gallery yes. wrapped canvas. Big and yes. nice one. Yes, a nice one. It is a big canvas today, um, which I'm really excited about. I love using big canvases. Um, I so, mean, a big canvas really is like a 36 by 36, but we've yes. been doing a lot of 11 by 14s, yes. so yes. this yeah. is fun. Exactly. So when we get to the house in Dallas, we will be doing some very big mm -hmm. canvases. So just you guys hold on to your seats for that one. Mm -hmm. um, so the colors that I'm using today are this beautiful metallic cobalt blue. We used these a, a while back. Yeah, we did. Mm. Um, this Bahama blue by Deco Art Americana. This phalo blue by Artist Loft. This phalo green by Artist Loft. This light blue by Artist Loft. This magenta, right? Permanent red violet. Permanent red violet, sorry. Permanent red violet by Amsterdam. Get your glasses on. <laughs> I know, I need to put my glasses okay. on. And uh, the Deco Art Metallics 24 karat gold. Whoop. Whoop, whoop. Um, all right, I got my wrecker here so I guess you guys know what's gonna happen today <laughs> I'm gonna be doing a ring pour and I'm gonna wreck it um, these colors are too delicious not to do something like that with and um, I'm gonna go ahead and start layering my cup
All right, guys, so I got my cup all layered, which is awesome. And uh, I'm going to pour a puddle and then I'm gonna go ahead and do my ring pour and then I'm going to put the flow extender around it. Now you might have to talk up because it sounds a little loud out there. It's <laughs> raining like crazy. Can you hear that? That's so bad. So crazy. We don't get rain like that in the bay very often. Now that, sir, I mixed for you is a silver concoction and some white mixed oh, nice. together. Yeah. Nice. It'll be a good like flow extender. Right. I'm just gonna pop my bubbles real quick in this because there's a lot of them. All right. Now, let's get to pouring. Wow, it's like blue really just took over. Huh, this is really crazy. I wasn't expecting this result, um, but let's see what happens once I stretch it out. Um, let's get the, the flow extender around it. All right, guys, I have my flow extender down. I got my puddle ready, my, all my ring pour, and I'm going to wreck my rings. So let's see here. Let's go. And maybe just like that. All right, it is wrecked. Now what time is it? It is tilting tilt time. time.
Okay guys, I am done with this. I am loving how it's glowing right in the middle all through here. Um, I'm loving the darkness around the edges and how I wrecked it, the lines uh, that all run the way that they do. Um, you got pops of magenta through here, which I am just, uh, not magenta, the red, red permanent, permanent violet. Permanent red violet. Oh. Say you could call it magenta, fast. it kind of It is. looks like magenta, the right. permanent red violet. Um, and I'm really gonna be interested to see how this dries, like what comes out and what stays back mm -hmm. and, and all that kind of stuff. But I'm gonna get my edges and we'll take you in for a close up. It's Lee here, and you just saw Jeremy do another super successful, wonderful wrecked ring, annoyingly, because he's so good at them, <laughs> and I can't do them. But uh, no, it was really wonderful. I loved it, and it glowed in the middle. It was fantastic. Now I'm gonna try something that I've never done here before. I, I don't know how it's, if it's gonna work, how it's gonna work, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna throw myself into this one, so you're gonna have to bear with me. Let's kind of journey this one together. I've got exactly the same colours as Jeremy has, but I'm also using the Quinacridone Burnt Orange by Goldens as my background. Now you've seen me use this before. And to this, I've added a little white and a little 24 karat gold. So it's not quite the colour that it is in the pot, it's a little lighter and a little shimmier. This is uh, Quinac, oh, this is Burnt Orange. Yeah. I thought this was the Azure Gold. No, that's the Burnt oh. Orange. I wish it was Azure Gold. I wish we had Azure Gold, but we've run out of it. Um, we don't have it in the studio, I'm afraid. So, first things first, I'm gonna flood this canvas with the Quinacridone Burnt Orange. So why don't I get to that? Okay, so Jeremy's been asking me what it is I'm gonna do. And like I said, I'm kind of gonna try something a little different. I've seen Mina do this and I've seen Molly do this. I'm gonna try and do a Dutch pour, starting in the center and kind of radiating out, kind of trying to do circular swipes with the colors. So we'll see how this works. And now let's start adding these colors. I think I'm gonna go light, dark, light, dark. So that's gonna be my plan. Um, and if they're not exactly perfect circles, then that is okay. But I'm gonna start with this wonderful blue. Then with the lighter blue. Let's do the magenta. blue and the green this one the only one I haven't used yeah the cobalt blue you know it'd be really beautiful with that color the cobalt blue yeah What's that? That phalo turquoise. Oh wow, yeah, yeah, it really would actually. Yeah, that's really pretty. And then the gold in the middle, and I'm gonna put some more of the orange in the middle too, to help me kind of blow over the other colors. All right, so that's my bullseye on a canvas. It looks really pretty on the screen. Mm. <laughs> screen, let's see. Let's see what happens when I blow these out. Try my best to keep 
keep my mind occupied so that I can focus on anything but you. Cause all I want is to get some shut eye, but the thought of you. Okay, so. I've got varying degrees of success here. I, I definitely liked kind of how I got the composition. I've lost the magenta for sure, which I was kind of hoping that would peek through here somewhere. The little hints of it, but maybe I just didn't layer enough of it on the canvas. But I really love how the gold in the middle is starting to actually sell. So I've got the gold in the middle and then all the kind of colors on the outside. I have a feeling that this one will continue to sell just as it sits. Mm -hmm. Probably is that gold is peeking through. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to grab my edges real quick because I'm not going to touch or fuss with this anymore. I really like the way that it's, it's sitting and we'll take you in for a close up. So there you have it folks. That um, was awesome. I can't wait to see the comments on this one. I know, me too. I'm really, really excited. I know the comments for yours are gonna be all awesome because you did yet another fantastic wrecked ring. Oh, thank you. Um, there's a favorite that we have of your wrecked rings mm. that actually is sold in a previous auction and it was beautiful. It had this kind of almost like flower-like to it. Yeah. And this one reminds me very much of that. Oh yeah. You know which I one remember, I mean? Yeah, I know which one you're talking that about. beautiful peacocky kind of yeah. teal. It was very bright in the yeah. middle. Um, you got this really bright center and it was the light blue from mm. Artist Loft that really yeah. shone through. Yeah, it was that artist, that light blue. Yeah, I loved this red ring again. Well done, that was superb. What did you think of my sunburst? You know what, I, I actually liked it. I thought it was different. Right. It really reminded me of like, an Indian headdress, ah. like coming out like all the feathers and stuff. Okay, it was like those that. colors, and it, I guess it was that burnt orange. Also, it was. That, they gave it that desert feel, like Aztec yeah, kind of like you yeah, know. I see it. Gold, right? Yeah, I really liked that. I thought mm. that 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 really reminded me of that, like some type of beautiful, like feathered, right. like Aztec, you know, kind I love of that. headdress. Type That's really cool. Yeah. I'm totally seeing it in my head, like Indiana Jonesy kind of yeah. like you know grass skirt and like you know someone like dancing around with a pole and nice. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I see it. I see it. Yes. Um, I really enjoyed it. I'm going to play with it. I'm going to do that def technique definitely again. It wasn't exactly what I was hoping for, mm. um, but I really loved that whole gold kind of cellular center. Yeah. It kind of sprung up because I added the gold back in the middle of I it. Know. So I really enjoyed that. Um, I just missed some of the definition of the colors. Ah. Um, and I think that maybe what I need to do next time is thicker bands closer together. With, with less negative space in between each of the bands. That's kind of what I'm thinking to myself. Yeah. Because there was just too much of the orange. Got it. But I really loved it, and it just makes me want to come back and try it all over again. And that's exactly what we'll do at some point. Yes. Um, let's take you in to see the pieces just one more time. So I'm really excited to hear what you think and see all the comments on this oh, one. Oh, definitely. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting and we will respond to everyone as we always do. Um, guys, thank you so much for joining us again. If you're here on the premiere, we appreciate it. It's always fun to chat to you. And we always get to kind of see our, kind of the people that always keep coming back. So it's great to get to know all you guys. All our friends. Exactly, they are friends. <laughs> um, so thank you so much. And to all of the other fabulous artists that join us on these premieres too, 
Thank you so much. Yes. And to our moderators, HOA, Mina, Kathleen, Tish, Sarah, Mac, all of you guys are all yeah. fantastic too. Thank you so much. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. We've got another fun episode coming up for you in a few days' time. Um, that's it from us, guys. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and we'll see you back here very soon. Have a great night, guys. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye. Or morning, or evening, or afternoon. Or oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> So, there are some extra special people that we really want to thank, and that's our Patreons. Yes. Or we like to call them the Massey Posse. Our Patreon account is something very separate to YouTube. Um, but what it does is it allows certain people the opportunity to come and get an extra special look at the studio. It does. And um, there are different levels, and within the different levels you get different perks. The perks range from things like sneak peek pictures and sneak peek videos. Yes all the way through to live chats with us in a WhatsApp group that we set up for certain levels, um, all the way through to being able to come on to tutorials once a month yes. and live streams once a month. And our diamond level pourers will also get the opportunity to pick the colors for one episode we pour on 11 by 14 canvases, and then that person, the people at the platinum, the diamond level, will get the chance to pick one of those two canvases. Yes. So it's super, super fun. Um, and we've got some special people to thank. So at the gold level, we've got Gloria, AKA Glitzy. We've got Jen Riley. We've got Jane Klein. We've got Trisha West. West. We've got Janice Pittman and we've got Janice Swansea. Yes. Thank you to our gold pourers. We also have at the platinum level, Leslie Beaver and our diamond pourer, someone you all know and love, that's Sparkles, Laurie Finzer. Yes. So thank you so much to everyone at those levels. Also here listed beneath is everyone else um, at all the other levels. We really appreciate you. We thank you for wanting to take an extra special look at the studio. Thank you so much, Patreons.